Rest in peace. Let's end this. My meter's filled to burst. This seems pretty cool. My true strength unlocked. What's this do? Oh! Go easy on me, please. I'm brittle. We lost. <sighs> now we just have to take down the boss. Katomi, are you all right? <sighs> <sighs> really don't know when to quit, do you? Wish you'd just stop getting in my way and leave me to finish this. I'd sooner die. That world has nothing for me. I can never go back. Gah! The monster at the heart of this whole thing's going berserk. <sighs> what happened? Hey, what's going on? Katomi! Don't seem like it's making any distinction between us and the one who spawned it. This is bad. Real bad. Hey, Tachibana. Don't know if you've noticed, but we've got a grand phantasm coming our way. Damn. Okay, we're out of options. Nothing we can do but fight it. But if we do that, then Katomi's delusion will collapse. Don't do it. Please! Please. We don't plan on it. Don't worry. We won't rob you of your delusion. What? Just be careful you don't strike the final blow and take the thing down. You too, Yamato. Don't go overboard. You can do it, everyone! You have my word, Katomi. We'll protect this world you've built. <laughs> Let's see if y'all can pull this off. Fight carefully, everyone. Make sure nobody strikes the final blow. There are only three enemies. No problem, Come and right? get me. Uh, uh, not so fast. Hot uh, uh, turn. Hot this. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, not so fast. Yeah. Please, don't. Eating that qualifies as work, you know. Keep it up. Too slow. Oh, you you this is you can do it. Rest in peace. Now just don't forget what it is. Turn. Not so fast. 
It's okay. We've only weakened it. We haven't destroyed it. <sighs> Good thing it's so sturdy. I don't know how we pulled it off, but we did. It's still standing? Didn't you hear me the first two times? I promised you we're not going to take your delusion from you. Yeah, you promised her. Not me. What? No! No, my, my world, what's, what's going on? Why? Katomi. This can't be. Hey, Katomi, pull yourself together. Are you all right? You bastard. If you're gonna hate me, then so be it. I did this all for Akihabara. That's right. That's right. We need to confirm that the delusion's gone from Akihabara. Freedom fighters, move out. I'll leave picking up the pieces to you. Damn it. That rat bastard's gonna pay. Katomi. Katomi, are you okay? Please say something. Katomi? Katomi? How is she? She's all cold. Can't believe we couldn't protect her delusion. Damn it. Why did this have to happen? It's okay, Dingus. Keep it together. Let's get Katomi out of here, all right? Why? Why? It's already back to the way it was. No sign of any delusion at all. Yeah, it's all gone. God damn it! Mistress? Mistress! Yoshino, um, this isn't... It's hard to explain, but a lot has happened here. And even though your mistress is unconscious, she's safe. Were you and your friends the ones who rescued her, Master Asahi? <sighs> no. Nobody rescued her. Asahi. Ko, are you all right? Have you been hurt? You, she know. That's right. I'm right here, Ko. Right here. Where, where am I? By the station's electric town exit. Right in front of your beloved Radiola Kaikon. What? Does she 
Why am I here? And where is this? You're absolutely exhausted, mistress. Come, we'll go straight back to the mansion and... No! <gasps> no! I won't! I don't want to! I can't stand this place anymore! Anyone want to explain or... Don't concern yourself with me anymore! I can't stand the sight of anyone's face right now! Not a single person's! M mistress this is a direct order. I want you to get out of my sight right now. Uh, uh. Stop it, Katomi. Yoshino's been worried sick about you this entire time. She's... That's enough, Master Asahi. It's okay. What? I understand, mistress. You better. I made it a direct order for a reason, after all. Which is why I'm forced to oblige. The mistress's will is my will as well. I will take this opportunity to enjoy some time to myself. Where will you go? Somewhere out of the mistress's sight, as instructed. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Yoshino! The hell's your problem? Do you realize how much of a wreck Yoshino was when you disappeared on her? I don't care about this place. Why do you keep saying that? I don't care. About this... world. Katomi? Hey, come on, wake up. <sighs> that was an awfully convenient time to pass out. Really heightens the drama. I'll try to catch Yoshino. Please do. Thanks. In the meantime, you should take Katomi somewhere she can lie down and recover. Only one place I can think of that'd make any sense. If you're thinking of Kemi's, we're on the same page. She might have some info on whatever's going on with Katomi, too. And it's back to Violet Eden. My, you're certainly frazzled. Kimmy, Katomi, I presume? <sighs> For now, I have her resting comfortably on a sofa in one of the private rooms. Thank you very much. Think nothing of it. Nibbity. I couldn't find her anywhere. On the hunt for Yoshino, were you? That's right. For what it's worth, I do know the location of the Sonata family mansion. Wait, are you saying... Yes, I'll go speak with Yoshino myself. You're too nice, Akemi. I imagine she's waiting there for Katomi to return of her own volition. On that note, may I ask you to run an errand on Katomi's behalf? What kind of errand? I believe she's weak from her time in the other world without food. I'd like you to find something highly caloric. When it comes to finding food in Akiba, you can count on me. And I'll help! I shall leave this task in your capable hands, then. Though do recall, she's weak, so keep it easy to digest. And Ryu, if I may, I'd like you to take care of, well, our guest's unmentionables. She's worked up quite a sweat. Sure thing. And Yamato, I'd like for you, though please ensure they're soft on the skin. <laughs> Fine. 
And finally, Kamata. Until I return, I'd like to ask you to take charge of Violet Eden. Would that be all right? S certainly. Look after Katomi in my absence, please. Uh, I'll do the best that I can. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Everyone know what they're doing? Then good luck. See you shortly. She wants calories. There's nothing better than stamina bowl. Yeah? Uh, Asahi, a stamina bowl is way too heavy for someone who's just regained consciousness. Oh, yeah. It was supposed to be easily digestible, too. Okay, scratch one stamina bowl. Get it together, man! If that's out, then our best choice would be... Hold up, it's a Kenny. Hello? Is everything okay? It most certainly is not. Katomi has gone missing. Again? Kamata claims she only took her eyes off of her for a second when she woke up and simply bolted out the door. No way! But where would she have run off to? I imagine she's still dazed and confused, so she could have gone anywhere. But running off like that means she must still have some memory of the delusion. For my part, I'm going to proceed as planned and speak with Yoshino. Can I count on you to track down Katomi? How am I supposed to do that if we don't have any idea where she could be? Asahi. Do you remember what I told you? Uh, will I get in trouble if I say no? One can never truly know another person, but one can and should try to. You know Katomi well enough by now that I'm certain you have some inkling of where she could have gone, no? A place Katomi would run off to. Oh, come now. Really think about Katomi. Try to put yourself in her shoes. I'll call Yamato and Ryu as well and update them on the situation. In the meantime, you need to follow your gut and hurry to wherever it is you think Katomi may have gone. Uh, Kemi, wait! Yeah? Okay, then. Guess it's up to us to find her. If we want to figure out where she could have gone, we're going to have to think like her. into the delusion scape? I'll, uh, keep watch outside. Yeah. Oh, Asahi. Took you long enough. Whoa, you guys are here too? We just did what Akemi asked of us. She told us to try thinking like Katomi, and that brought us here. Great minds think alike. When they're tasked with thinking like one person. <laughs> I mean, where else would she go? This just makes sense. Yeah. Right now, this is the only place in the world for her. 
The only place she would feel like she belongs. Damn. She really is hopeless. Come on, you guys. We have to find her. Right behind you. Hold up a sec. What is it, Yamato? Shouldn't we just leave her be? Why do you say that? The delusion's gonna be in tatters in there. All falling apart, right? Even though we can go inside. Should we? Yoshino's so worried about her. That's not our business. You realize we're just sticking our noses where they don't belong, right? Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what we're doing. Asahi, not you too. But while I was running over here, I was thinking. Thinking about what I wanted to do once we found Katomi. That's when I realized that there's something very important that got left behind last time we saw her. So I... Or rather we... Really need to give it to her. Face to face. Cool. I love it when people speak in riddles. Clears things up. Thanks. We just need to go. Once more unto the delusion. To save Katomi. <laughs> you know, for an acting leader, you sure do make a lot of unilateral decisions. He's got my vote, too. Come on, Yamato. Yeah, all together now.
spotted, and I don't want to fight, so that's a problem. Tell me, you. Why are you here? We've come to see you. Well, I don't want to see you. I don't want to see anybody. So get out of here now. Katomi, go. Please listen to me. No, I won't. I don't want you speaking a word within eight meters of me. I'm here to deliver something that got left behind last time we spoke. Deliver. Don't you usually return things people forgot? Not this time. We're here to give you a special delivery. Well, you can keep it. If it has anything to do with you, Riff Raff, I'll just forget it again anyway. I'm sorry, Ko. Pardon? We couldn't protect your world. Wait, when you say something got left behind, do you mean... We told you we would. I promised you. But then the delusion got nullified. And we couldn't do a thing to stop it. <laughs> Think you're so cool with your fancy turning point speeches. And despite breaking my promise, I never did apologize to you. I forgot to say I'm sorry. So, Ko, I'm so, so sorry. Wh what? I'm sorry too, Ko. Y you too? Same here. Sorry. And even you? I'm really sorry. What is wrong with all of you? Stop this at once! Do you think an apology alone means you understand me? Do you think it means you understand how I feel? I kind of understand. I know what it's like to lose your delusion. Ditto. What sort of nonsense are you spewing? These two are just like you. How so? They created delusions of their own but lost them in the end. I can't think of anyone who'd understand you better. Definitely not me. I haven't even had a delusion to lose, but I can at least try to, and that's why I can apologize from the bottom of my heart that our powers weren't enough to keep you safe. Why? 
What is all of this about? I just wanted to apologize. Oh, so now you're forcing your feelings onto me? Yeah, I guess I am. But turnabout is fair play, so you can always force your feelings onto us, too. You know what, Ko? If it's okay by you, why don't you come with us? Excuse me? We're all in the same boat. Ish. We can help each other. Ah. <sighs> Another big decision made at the drop of a hat by our acting leader. Are you insane? You're all idiots! Okay, you got me there. So why don't you just give it up already? I hate idiots like you, who don't understand anything about anyone! Please, go. If you say so. Sorry to bug you. Come on, gang, let's get out of here. We'll leave Ko be. You sure that's okay? Yeah, she knows what she's doing. See you around. Just a moment. Hmm? What do you need? What do you all plan to do from here on out? Continue your delusion tour, destroying everything in your path? I honestly don't know. But I'll tell you this. We won't just nullify delusions willy-nilly anymore. Yeah, we're not like those freedom fighter bastards. Even if we do tend to wind up in the same place at the same time. Well, that's a different story then. Huh? You are not to get within one meter of me. This again? And you're not to breathe within two meters of me. Gee, that's reasonable. And the longest you're allowed to reflect me in your eyes is 30 seconds. Wow, that's hardly any time at all. And I refuse to dirty my ears with any of your regrets. Voicing them would be the absolute height of folly. You don't have to worry about that from me. I'm immune to regrets. Good. Then I'll join you. Really? But I don't want you getting the wrong idea. My goal is the utter annihilation of the Freedom Fighters. Nothing more, nothing less. Annihilate away. My, well, seems there's no need for us to intervene after all. Yoshino? What? How can she be in here? Ko. Yoshino. Yes? What is it, mistress? I have an order for you. Whatever you wish, mistress. Stay by my side. Forever. Oh. Ko. It would be my pleasure. I am at your disposal always and forever. And they all lived happily ever after. Um. Akemi? Oh, Asahi. What is it? You are quite cool back there, I must say. Don't try to use my ego to distract me. How is it that Yoshino... <laughs> I'm terribly sorry for hiding the truth from you. Let us discuss the particulars of this incident back in reality. Come, everyone. Out to the world with you. I'm exhausted. No, you don't, Akemi. No more secrets. Time to spill the beans. My, whatever could you be referring to? Don't play dumb with me. Yoshino was a loser, wasn't she? I'm terribly sorry, Master Asahi. It was never my intent to trick anyone. Oh, no, I'm not mad at you or anything, Yoshino. It's just... Would someone clue me in on what you're all talking about? <laughs> I apologize. I just wanted to see how things would unfold when I left you to your own devices. Let's just say you reminded me of an old friend. Well, you all seem to be having fun. Mizuki? Aren't you getting popular, Asahi? Wherever I go, everybody's got something to say about you. You! Who's this now? The sub-boss of the Freedom Fighters. Freedom Fighters? You're going to regret showing your face in front of me. Don't blame us. If you didn't create the delusion, we wouldn't have destroyed it. Stop, Mizuki. That's not happening. In fact, I'm here because there's something I need you to hear. What could that possibly be? We Akihabara of Freedom Fighters will destroy each and every one of the delusions that have overrun this town. Every one. 
without exception, and with extreme prejudice. So if you continue to get in our way, we will stop showing you mercy. You really think that'll scare us off? We're not kidding around this time. Won't you at least try to think about the Deluser's feelings first? Won't you try to think about the non-Deluser's feelings? We're essentially killing one person to save a hundred. That's how the Akihabara Freedom Fighters work. That's justice. That stupid is what it is. And we'll prove it by saving all 101 people. Somehow all of this hasn't changed you a bit, has it, Asahi? It sure as heck changed you. The old you would have never sided with those freedom fighter creeps. We, people, have no choice but to change and adapt so that we can finally come face to face with tomorrow. Nobody understands me. Nobody even tries to understand me. It's what I always believed, anyway. It's why I ran off into my own world. Then they came for me. Which is why I left it. There were people who understood me. And people who tried to understand me. So there's something I want to say about the thing that you all forgot. Thank you for delivering it to me. I wanted to say that anyway, but oh, what a mistake that was.